Welcome to Radio Free HPC. This is where we talk about supercomputing, high performance computing, and other technology topics. I'm your Toastmaster, Rich Bruckner from Inside HPC, with my co hosts, Dan Olds from Gabriel Consulting and Henry Newman from Instrumental. Now let's get to the show. Hi. Welcome to a special edition of Radio Free HPC. I'm Dan Olds, as, accompanied by, oh, as always accompanied by Henry Newman and Rich Bruckner. It's the summertime edition. Summertime, summertime. We're out here in the sun and the fun in well, quite Beaverton or still Beaverton or Hillsborough? No, this is Hillsborough, Oregon. Hillsborough, Hillsborough, Oregon, McMenamins. Henry's out here on a business trip. Say hi, Henry. Hi, Henry. Good job. <laughs> out here to see one of our many tech vendors. And we figured we'd get together in person and... Uh, Record the webcast. It's good to see you guys in person for a change. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It is. Well, you picked an opportune day to come, Henry. Spectacular. Not a cloud in the sky. Yes. Yes. About but 78 degrees. Yeah. No Sunny. humidity. Low humidity. Yeah. 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 But a big yeah. day. A big day for Intel technology news. The yeah. introduction of something called 3D X-Point non-volatile memory. And we've talked about non-volatile memory for a long time over the years. Yeah. We've had... Radio Free HPC, and it's finally hit the market, and it's finally available. Like to anybody who's watched this show before remembers the phrase, where the hell are my memristors? <laughs> well, promised for every 18 months for the last 10 years. Yeah. But anyway, it looks like it's here. Well, we're still waiting for the memristors, but in the meantime, Micron and Intel have partnered on this technology, which is, a, a, like as we said, it's a non-volatile memory, um, a thousand times faster than Nandy. And, so, and byte addressable, which is critical to really use in a, in a memory stack. Yeah, so th this is key. So, you know, uh, what, what Intel's doing is fleshing out more details about their scalable system framework. Mm -hmm. Here, they had this layer of non-volatile memory, and there was all kinds of speculation what that might be, but it, it sounds so, like this is going to be the... Well, it's fast, but let's keep it in perspective. It's also 100 times slower than DRAM. Right, but, yeah, dens so, but density... But still, 1,000 times faster than... And density is what? 10x DRAM density? I think that's is what... That right? Yeah, I think that's what we talked about earlier. Yeah. And yeah. But the, the issue, you know, one of the things, that it'd be nice, you know, I looked, read the press release a couple times, still don't know what the material science around it is. It'd be interesting to know, but... Note to vendors, tell us a little bit about what it's made of. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, it's finally here, and it, it's going to change... There's going to be a lot of changes that are going to be required to do this using the memory stack. Because now you have, you know, L1 cache, L2 cache, L3 cache, DRAM, and now this. And how do you allocate it? How do you deallocate it? I think is we it talked about... storage or is it memory? Yeah, we, I, think we, I think we talked about this, you know, and who's going to build boards? You can put dim slots in. Right. But I think we talked about this about a year, a little over a year ago. Mm -hmm. There was a presentation I triple master where I talked about mm -hmm. where there was the beginnings of inputting this into the Linux kernel and how to allocate and deallocate the memory. You don't want someone to, who's not a low priority user to come and take all this memory up since it's non-volatile. Um, also, but, how big can it get? And the other thing is, think yeah. about how fast you can boot the kernel now. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yes. Well, you yes. know, and a big thing with this also is energy efficiency, right? Because these big clusters have a lot of DRAM in them. And that sucks up a lot of energy because you got to continually refresh that with electricity. This non-volatile memory, once once that's in there, uh, that that information's locked. You don't have to spend that energy. Right, and there, you know, and the, you know, there'll be now a, a time where people are looking at their applications. How much is this memory page used? Should it really be in the non-volatile area, yeah. or this area? This these pages are highly utilized. We need to keep them in DRAM. Because, you know, they're bigger than the caches. These pages aren't utilized, but we still need them. It's going to be very interesting. But this brings up the issue is... But this is going to need... This is going to demand an entirely new motherboard. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, certainly. Certainly, certainly right. and a new kernel. Yeah. And I'm sure people have been working on it. But it begs the question is, given what we heard what was a week or two ago about Micron being bought by oh, a yes. Chinese uh -huh. company, how's this all going to play out? And to me... Given this announcement and given what's happening with Micron, I just don't see well I mean, that we should allow this to happen. Micron looked like a bargain. I mean, for anybody that follows the stock, and I don't a lot, but in the news reports, they've dropped by close to 50% over the past uh, several months. And so they looked like a bargain. But 
that um, that offer at twenty four point three billion dollars just doesn't get it done. I mean, they've got book value of equipment, and plant, and all that estimated at around twenty seven billion. And I don't see them selling to a discount of their property, plant, and equipment. Well, their board of directors voted for it, Dan. They, they voted in favor of it. Well, they voted to accept the offer and put it to the stockholders. I mean, the, you wouldn't. Yeah, not this. Not this is not something that's going to get through the stockholders. I mean, the board of directors has to. It's a fiduciary duty. You have to put any bona fide offer to the stockholders. But this is way too cheap. I think. Oh, Particularly yeah. in light of today's announcement. Well, whatever the price, it, it doesn't seem likely to me that the regulatory That's the federal point. government will want this to happen and they'll stick their foot in it and, and just put a stop to it, I would guess. But, that's uh, that's my hope. Yeah. This is not good for, for you know, the West. Forget just the U.S. It's not good for the West to have this, the first and only technology of its kind that's made it to the market. Yeah. And we Again, we've been talking about this for years. You've been talking about Memrister. As in, where the hell are my Memristers? Uh, and then you're still waiting. And still you're still waiting. waiting. And yep. I just don't see where this is good for uh, the free market world. When is this supposed to be out? Um, well, I, 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 they said that this, this is happening now. It's not Slideware. Okay. Right? They, have, they have parts. Um, I think they said that... By the end of the year, they'll have things to show, demos, things like that, right? Okay. So uh, it sounds real. It doesn't sound like the Memorister slides that we've been seeing. For 18 months away. Yeah. You know what? 18 months away. You know, the, the, Which, uh, by the way, HP took that out of their uh, did machine. They finally, they finally bailed the machine, on that? Uh, <laughs> but, stuff. But, you know, yeah. and they wouldn't be making this announcement given all the hype with other non-volatile technologies if it wasn't real, in my opinion. I mean, yeah. this has got to be very close to real, and people, they need to announce it so people can start building motherboards, like you talked well, about, and think yeah. other interfaces. And I remember, I think you were in this at GTC, Rich, the mm -hmm. IBM Coral presentation. Yes. Uh, they had a big part of that machine that they were talking about was the non-volatile memory. And I remember, didn't you and I say, huh, who the, who the hell is supplying that, and where is it? Well, and but maybe this is that piece. And, and, but the, the, the real issue with the non-volatile memory is you've got to announce it so it's not NDA. So yes. kernel developers can be building things. Yeah. Other people can be building things. So it's, it's more than, you know, you can't keep it NDA if you want an ecosystem around it. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's, in my mind, that's why it was announced now. And, you know, I, I should mention that this isn't just for HPC. They were talking no. about this in terms of PCs and gaming technology. Oh, database index tables, Enterprise. Hadoop, yeah. I mean, any map reduce algorithm. I mean, there's just a lot of things that... Oh, anything that's performance-oriented in the enterprise, real-time, near real-time, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Facebook's yeah. graphs. Yeah, graph yeah. search. Yeah. yeah. Sure. So... Potentially, we could be looking at this as something that's as ubiquitous as DRAM today. Or... Well, Damn, really I bought a PC this week waiting for oh, Windows man. 10. I probably should put it off. You know, Best Buy, if you got your receipt. You might... No, I don't have it. No, it wasn't Best Buy. I have my PCs yeah. built to my specification. Oh, okay. Go, go gotcha. ask your Best Buy guy if he'll if he's going to give you an upgrade to the uh, non-volatile memory. <laughs> I don't talk to Best Buy. Okay. 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 I bought it, built my own. I just said that. You don't pay attention to what I say generally. I did, but I want to get the Best Buy jab in there. Okay. Yeah. Best so Buy is your, one of my local Minnesota companies. Please do not. Custom. Yeah. Geek custom squad? Build. No. 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 Okay. Just the little local computer right. store down the street. I don't have time to put it all together, but I pick the parts in myself. Nice. Nice. Well, well, good. So you have a, um, well, how big a system did you get? And you know what? Let's get back to non volatile well, memory. You bought something yeah. weak, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, Celeron? <laughs> Celeron. Adam. 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 With a modem. You know, <laughs> dial up. Who needs all that cash? <laughs> Who needs all that <laughs> memory need and stuff? Don't need it. Don't need it. Integrated so, graphics. Right. So, back, 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 to, back to the topic at hand. Yeah. I, oh, Your weak taste in personal technology? The, 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 the issue... Oh, the micron thing. The, oh, the micron yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay. That's, it's going to be interesting over the next six months what's going to happen, both with the technology and with the approvals by the CFIUS uh, committee. I'm going to bet that the shareholders will reject um, the buyout. Now, uh, Ching Wah may up the ante and bump it up, but they're going to have to bump it up by probably 20 30%, which makes it quite a bit richer. 
Now, if it gets mm. past that point, that's when I think the regulatory steps take place. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what? The regulatory steps are in process because if this is the only non-volatile memory in the world, yeah. there's there are multiple DRAM players. Right now, it sounds like yes. there's only one non-volatile player. I, I think you answered your own question. Yeah, I agree. I don't think it's going to happen for a well, variety well, of reasons. That's, that's my question. Will this will this technology be available to somebody like AMD or, or Open Power to use in components in their system? Well, you said sure. you said for Coral, it was in Coral. Well, they didn't specify what non-volatile yeah. memory. They just said non-volatile. You know what? To, to, <laughs> well, I would say, just like other technologies that are associated with computer systems was PCI bus, other things, you know, to get it out there and dominate the market, you're going to sell it to everybody. You're going to yeah. license it to everybody and their dog, and that's what's going to make the ecosystem grow. Correct. Yeah. And if you just keep it on one system, I mean... Then it becomes the Sony memory stick. Right. Cell phones. I mean... Yeah, yeah. 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 So that's why you don't see a lot of Sony memory sticks around. I remember that. Yeah. Don't see I remember Sony avoiding anything. every device that used it like the plague. Yeah. 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 So, one other note of interest, Dan and I actually agreed today. We did? We did. Yeah. That it happens. Yeah. It happens. That, 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 has, that has happened. I don't know if that shows up on the soundtrack, but every once in a while these huge walnuts yes. are plummeting down from these trees, and one of them hit the, the table near Henry, and it shook the entire table. There it is. Look at the size of that. <laughs> yeah. It's about as hard as my head, according to my wife. The one that hit it was actually a little bigger. Yeah. But uh, good, good Oregon walls. That'll that'll do something. Yeah. 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 So on that note, as we dodge and duck from these things, I'm getting my bike helmet on. I. Well, that's a good move. That's a good move. Is that about it, guys? Yeah. That's it. I think that's what we're okay. Doing. We're going to order dinner now, and uh, appreciate you watching. And tune in for the next episode of Radio Free HPC. That's it for this edition of Radio Free HPC. Thank you for listening, and be sure to check back often for new episodes. Also, check out our website for more content, links, and a place for you to let us know what you think about the show. We're at RadioFreeHPC.com. Thanks again. We'll be back with another exciting episode real soon.